Hello guys, welcome to another Minecraft video by Smurf Masher. Today we've got a very special guest, his name is Darko Maya, and he's going to be showing us a very simple, fast technique for building trees organically. Now this is similar to the last video, except this is much, much quicker, and it should be easier for people who've never built a tree before. So the technique is to build a dirt scaffolding, as you see Maya's doing right now. You put a sapling on the top, and then you put a layer of um, glass just right next to it, one block above the sapling. And what this allows you to do is to build quite high and to extend the size of the tree. As you can see, it's just popped up, got a nice long trunk on there already. And by dotting other trees around it at different heights, around the base that you've decided you want to build your tree in, you can combine the trees together. And this gives you the foliage, it gives you the basic building blocks for the tree, and all you need to do is edit it afterwards, which is much, much quicker. Now Maya's managed to build a massive forest, it's really cool, he's done it in the um, in the end and that gives it a misty foggy a feel and he's built a swamp around it, it looks fantastic. But without this technique it would have taken him probably 30-40 minutes per tree. This is so much faster and you get great results. You can still use the more in-depth tutorial that I showed you before if you want to have a real signature tree like a god tree, say from um, Game of Thrones, something like that. But this technique works fantastically well. So now that he's placed his three trees, what he's now doing is he's going to bring down the trunks to a central point from the places where the trunks burrowed into the foliage at the top. And he's just bringing it all down and uh, he's going to combine the trunks together. And he's got a couple of blocks just coming down from there. That's it, just getting a feel for it. And he'll start to slowly form the trunks coming from those key points and all you need to do is look for where the foliage is bunched up where the core is still at the top after deleting the bottom of the trunk and just bring it down to create the natural branches and uh, tree structures and trunk that you want to create now he's just going to do the left hand side now brings that down yep that's that good and he's going to join it up into the central point which is basically where he's standing so the trunk is going to be where his body is right now I'm going to keep on spinning around so you see as many angles of this as you possibly need. And as you can see, this video is less than 10 minutes long, and this is not speeded up in any way. So you can see that once you've got this technique down, 10 minutes a tree, give you an hour, that's six trees and so on. You get a bunch of your friends building with you, and you can create a forest quite quickly, even without PC tools like World Edit. This is all on console. So what he's done now is he's just creating the base of the trunk, a nice a thick area at the bottom where he's going to combine these um, branches that are coming down from the top, taper it down, and it's just building the basic structure at the moment. What he's going to do afterwards is he's going to knock a few blocks out, get rid of any areas which are flat, and uh, make sure that uh, there aren't any square edges or two blocks in a row next to each other that uh, make it not look organic. <clears throat> he's got the base done now, I think that's uh, looking pretty good. Yep, and he's just going to bring down the branches from the top. You could stop there. That would still be a good tree, as you see right there. And that's only taking, what, a few minutes? It's not much time at all. Maya's a perfectionist, though, so he's going to carry on with this. And there's a few other steps that need to be taken as well. Really, what you want to do is you want to puff out the, um, the foliage a little bit more at the top. You want to make it more rounded. You want to ensure that uh, you go through it all and... You know, just add as many different features as you can to the branches to make them look a bit more interesting. So you see there is, just put an extra branch that's come up on the left. It's a bit bulky there with those bits of wood, so he's probably going to knock some of those out in a bit, so that it's cleaner going up, cleaner going up into the foliage. He's already started doing that, as you can see. So he's split it there, so there's a clear divide between one branch and the other, and just given that branch on the left a little bit more shape and now because he's done that he needs to thicken up the center trunk so it looks like he can support the weight just so it all looks like the center of gravity is where it should be and that uh, it looks natural that's the key thing here so as I said I'm just going to keep on spinning around so you see as many angles of this as you possibly need my is very very quick I don't expect you to be able to do this uh, in 10 minutes on your first go but a couple of times a few more practice runs and you'll get this down quite well now the beauty of this is that because it's random, because the computer's generating the trees using bone mill, and that block of glass is just one block above the dirt um, scaffold that you created at the beginning, each time you do it, the tree is different and it's unique. And this is fantastic for a forest. It means that you can use a repeatable, quick, fast technique and just spam them out, as many as you need. And a good 80% of the work's been done for you. 
Right, so now we started on the foliage. Now if you look at this on the left, the left hand side is very flat and uh, I'd say it needs to puff out a little bit more to give it more rounded look on the left hand side. Uh, Mine's also taken out some of the extra bits of wood that are in there that uh, just um, jam it all up and make it look less neat. There's a few flat areas, so he's just uh, trimming them out and he's bringing bits out where he needs to. So he's taking things in, bringing things out, and already you can see that it's starting to look more natural. So there's a flat area in the center, so he's going to bring that out a bit more. He's trimming on the left there. Yep, yep, he, he's, he's an expert at this. He knows exactly what he's doing. But it's a simple technique once you got it down. So yeah, this uh, takes a little bit longer. This side looks a little bit flat. I'm sure he's going to deal with that. There's a, a few sections. Yep, there's already knocked one of those three blocks in a row down. So it's got a T-shape, which gets rid of that flat feeling or flat look. And the left hand, the right hand side still needs to work. Ah, because he's puffed it out so much, he's start. He's thinking, right, okay, I need another branch coming down there to justify that big lump of uh, extra foliage I've put in. So he's just adjusting it a little bit, um, trimming it down. The trunk got a little bit thick there so we took another block out just to make it look more natural and still we've got the right hand side so yeah he's gonna start filling in that gap where his body is right now and that will make it more rounded so just going through that you get the idea this obviously isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial it's impossible Maya doesn't uh, do the same technique every single time each tree is different and that's just the way this particular routine goes the top needs a bit of work, so it's just uh, get rid of that flat bit. And from the right hand side, I think that's looking perfect now. He's really getting there. And what, we're 6 minutes 49 seconds into the video. It's not been sped up, not using any special techniques. And this is a one take video, so there's no editing or anything else like that. And I think you can agree, this is already looking pretty good. And as I'm narrating, I can see that he hasn't got much time left. He's only got about another minute of building left to go, and then we're done. Just needs a little bit more work around there, just puffing it out a bit more. He doesn't want to lose the branches going up completely. You still want to be able to see that. So he's not going to bury that. He's just doing it around the top. And this way, one of those trees was organically, well, just grown with a bone mill. It was a bit higher up. It gives you that higher branch. And the one on the left, which was a bit lower down on the scaffold, is your... Is your um, is your other branch which obviously is a little bit lower and yeah this is almost complete a few final touches just to tweak this yep and I think we're done ah <laughs> Meyer is a perfectionist so it's going into adding a few other bits right yep there's just one last thing we need to do just gonna put in some roots now, this is similar to the previous tutorial video I showed you you can go a little bit more complicated than this if you want to you can use half block slabs if you want just to make it taper down with the roots you can put in a couple of other different colors of blocks and if you really want to get complicated but the idea of this technique is you do it quickly it's so you can build a forest it's not for a single signature tree it's for a forest and it's, I think he needs to just taper a little bit to the root and yeah he's put one block there just to make it look like it's tapered in are we done I think we are Let's have a little scroll around, get a bit more of a close-up look. Yeah, yep, yeah. I think we're almost done. <laughs> almost. Come on, Maya, that's good enough. I think we all agree. Yep, okay, we're done, completed. Right, this is Doc Maya. He's a fantastic builder, good friend of mine. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but... Uh, if you ever are on Xbox, I definitely recommend you talk to him. He's a lovely guy, very friendly, and uh, he's taught me up. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for listening and watching my video. And as always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Goodbye.